Hello and welcome to this video tutorial where we're going to investigate how to create a network design to meet the requirements of a customer. You can access this task at the web address that now appears on the video. Let's scroll down and find out about the requirements of customer A. Customer A is a recruitment agency that employs seven members of staff working in a small office. They've got five user requirements which are listed here. The first one says that they would like to have enough desktops for each employee to be able to work at the same time. So basically, they want a small network of seven computers. In order to do this network design, we're going to use our network design tool by pressing this button. Now the first thing we're going to do is add seven workstations, seven desktops, to the network design. Now, in order to connect all those workstations together, I am going to need a switch. And the switch will be the central node of a star network. I'm going to connect every workstation to the switch using a cable. We would normally use an Ethernet cable to do so. And you can see that we now have a star topology. So that's our first requirement met. We've got a small network of seven computers. Let's look at requirement two. They would like all files to be stored on a central server. Now, in order to do this, I'm going to need an extra computer called a file server. And that file server, I am also going to connect to the switch. Which means at this stage, all computers can save their files onto the central file server. That's our second requirement met. Now let's look at user requirement 3. Each employee is provided with a laptop or smartphone which they will need to connect to the network using a wireless connection. So in order to do this, we're going to need a wireless access point to set up a Wi-Fi hotspot. I'm going to select the WAP wireless access point. This wireless access point will be connected to the switch via an Ethernet cable. And it's going to provide Wi-Fi access inside the building. I can now have a few smartphones inside the building as well as a few laptops around the building. Now, if it was a large building, I may need to use more than one wireless access point to cover a large area but we can assume in this task that it is a fairly small office. So one wireless access point would be enough. And that's my third user requirement met. I am now looking at user requirement four. They should be able to access the internet. So let's look at our network design. We want to access the internet. Now in a small office, the internet would possibly come from the phone line or from a dedicated line. In order to connect the network to the internet we're going to need a router and the router will connect our small network via the switch to our phone line which is going to the internet and that's it we've got user requirement 4 now met the only issue with this network is that it is not secure and hackers could now try to access our network to steal our data so in order to make this network secure we're going to look at user requirement 5. They would like to have a secure connection that prevents unauthorized requests entering the network. So looking at our network design, we're now going to need to install a firewall. And this firewall will sit just behind the router. So I'm going to remove this cable here. I'm going to set up a firewall that will connect to the router and connect to the main switch which means that all incoming traffic, all incoming requests will be filtered by the firewall. So if a request doesn't look safe, it will be blocked by the firewall. And that makes our network secure. We've now met all five user requirements. All the computers can access to the internet via the switch, through the firewall, through the router, and to the internet. All mo mobile devices can access to the network and to the internet via the wireless access point through the main switch, the firewall, the router and to the internet. 
All files can also be stored on a central file server. That's all five user requirements met, so we're done for today. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.